how we tell the difference between someone with benevolent intention and someone with malevolent intent? Well, that last question, I, I think, is easier. Well, to answer first is important, I should say, to answer first. Um, because you trust your feelings very simply. And if you are misled, you go by a simple rule. Does this cause me fear? Am I afraid? You know, because if you're afraid, there's a reason. And so you don't go forward with somebody who causes you fear. Also, if the being is, in a sense, working through flattery or working in some way with your ego that feels uncomfortable, you will have a sense of it. So the benign beings bring you joy, bring you love, bring you peace, bring you laughter, bring you harmony. It's very simple. It's not complicated spiritual evolution. It's about love. And so... Really, that is my simple answer for you. When it's love, you can trust it. When it causes you fear, really have a ha, have a have a moment there and just just consider what's actually happening in your body and in your heart. Trust your body. Trust your instincts. Peace. Peace.